Hello and welcome to our thrifty and frugal home here in Brittany in northwest France. This week's midweek money chat is all about those habits that we have, those frugal habits, those things that we do week in, week out, day in, day out. But sometimes, to be honest with you, I kind of forget that we do them, but I'm going to share my 10 top frugal habits with you and how they save us loads of money. A frugal habit that we do every single week, every time we go shopping, is we buy the supermarket own brands, so we do not buy branded products. So let's take a look. From household products, to toiletries, even perfume, food, even beer, all of these supermarket owned brands. They save us between 25% and up to 50% of our food shop from the supermarket every single week. Every single week, I do an inventory and stock check of all our food. I therefore know from that how many meals I can get out of that, what I am going to use it for. This is my freezer inventory as of yesterday. And as you can see, I've gone through with my packets. I've got two packets of smoked sausages, for example, three packets of shoulder pork shoulder steaks. I know I've got six packs of lardons. Lardons are small chunks of smoked bacon we use here in France. And I then have a little list of it next to it. I know how many meals I've got from this. So I know at a glance from my freezer alone, I've got 49 or more main meals tucked away in my freezer. I then know not to double buy everything. I don't buy what I don't need. So something I do as a frugal habit every single week, all of the time, is I stock check and keep an inventory of the food in the house. Another frugal habit of ours, and we do this every week, all the time, is that we meal plan every single week, all of the time. You'll also notice from this, as part of this, it doesn't say takeaway or restaurant. As part of that meal plan, we cook and eat all of our food from our home. So there's no eating out and there's no takeaways. It saves us a huge, huge, huge amount of money. It's a frugal habit that we enjoy and we do all of the time. Another frugal habit is that every single month we live off a written budget and we make sure that we are living off a lot less than our income so we can save every single month. So we, every single euro that we have has a job to do. We know where all our savings are going to go and whether it's for our, our income plus our outgoings, plus our savings, equals our income. We know every euro is going. And we track all of our spending as well within our budget. So we are therefore holding ourselves to account to the budget that we have set. I'd like to show how our frugal wardrobe epitomizes our frugal habits and values. I have here six small drawers. This is, for my husband and I, all of our clothes. With the exception of a waterproof coat each 
and a warm winter coat each, which are hung by the door. This is all of our clothes. So all of my scarves, t-shirts, everything. From underwear, t-shirts, socks, tops, shorts, trousers, jeans. I have a few nice items of clothing, such as a, a, I would call it a posh top from my husband's t-shirts, shorts, underwear, t-shirts, jeans. And over in here, we've got things like dressing gowns, warm winter tops. That, three drawers, are all of it. And when you think of the people who have walk-in wardrobes and cupboards full of handbags and cupboards full of shoes, that is all of it. So to sum it up, when it comes to clothing, we have as what we need, but we don't have any more than we need. We have frugal habits in our bathroom too. We reduced our water bill and our water consumption by one third. And this is what we do. In the sink, when we wash our hands, we trap the water in a bowl. So, when we've just had a quick wee, we use that water for flushing the toilet. When we have a shower, it takes that much water, almost just over half a bucket of water, before the water comes through hot. We also use that for more major flushes of the toilet. I'm trying to be as polite as possible here. So, our toilet takes six litres per flush. By doing this, just these little things in our bathroom, we've saved one third or reduced our water bill by one third every single year. It's a little frugal habit of ours. Working practices have changed, haven't they? Another great frugal habit of ours is we both work from home. No commuting costs, no work clothes, no taking work to lunch, none of those things. It's a massive frugal habit of ours that saves us a whole heap of money is we work from home. Another frugal habit that we have that saves a huge amount of money is that we do not use a tumble dryer to dry our clothes. I'm just going to get to say look up here. And this is our clothes dryer that we use in the winter, along with this one. And in the winter we cook and heat with our wood burning stove. We also heat our water on it in the winter on our wood burning stove. But it means we do not need to use a tumble dryer. A massive money saving frugal habit for us, because we live in a rural area, is that we cut, process, chop, stack, dry, and heat with all our own wood. So effectively, other than a backache and a bit of paracetamol once in a while, our wood costs us nothing at all. So, we process all our own wood, and we heat our main living space with our 10 kilowatt wood burning stove. It saves us a huge amount of money. We don't have a propane tank in the garden or an oil tank in the garden or any central heating at all. We're a well insulated house and we effectively, with a bit of effort, heat it for free. Another frugal habit that saves us a massive amount of money is how we run our car. Start point, 
we only have one car. So we organise our trips between us if we need to go to separate places. One of us is going to stay home and do home jobs that day. One of us will do other things that day. We just walk to the local store, for example. We only have one car. We make sure we use it frugally. So we don't just go nipping out for things. We organise our trips of where we're going to go. We also have quite an old car. It is good enough for us. It's a vehicle. It's not something we want to show off with. So another habit for us is how we use our car. So here is the nerve centre of the central heating, the laundry drying and the winter cooking. This is where we process all our wood. This is one of our best habits. I'm talking over the beautiful French rain here, but it keeps us fit and it also heats our house. And all of this wood is from our own land. It's just cost us the time and effort. And here it is, the heating, the cooking and the laundry drying. I really, really love it when you comment. So tell me, what are your frugal habits? What are the things that you do all of the time? Maybe, what are the frugal habits you'd like to have? Or even, what frugal advice could you give to someone that they could make a habit that's going to save them money? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you give this video a like and if you enjoyed it, go on, hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends, tell people all about Frugal Queen in France. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.